SpaceX has introduced a Starlink Premium while promising twice the performance at five times the cost. We've got all the details. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to give you an update on SpaceX's Starlink Constellation. And in particular, they've now rolled out a new Starlink Premium tier, which is new hardware and a new tier of service that is promising basically double the upload and download performance over a typical Starlink system, but it's coming at five times the cost. So what does that mean? Well, first off, the hardware. So the new Starlink Premium hardware is a new high-performance DISHI unit that is, you know, SpaceX is saying it offers double the antenna performance, so there's no detailed technical specifications available. It is physically larger. It is a unit that is better suited for extreme cold and extreme heat um, from the details they've shared so far. And, well, what is this going to cost you? It's $2,500 for the new Starlink Premium Dishy system. That is a big jump up from the $499 of the typical Starlink consumer system, um, but, well, you're getting some more capable hardware, more professional-grade hardware, theoretically, and um, opens a new tier of performance. So what is the performance? What is the new performance tier going to get you? Well, the SpaceX has updated their um, website to have what to expect for the new regular Starlink service and Starlink premium service. So regular Starlink is now saying you'll have download speeds averaging between 50 megabits per second to 250 megabits per second, whereas Starlink Premium is double that, 100 to 500 megabits per second. Um, now, as far as the upload speed, which is often very critical, Starlink, uh, regular Starlink is promising 10 to 20 megabits per second, and Starlink Premium is 20 to 40 megabits per second. So that's some pretty impressive performance, particularly for satellite, and particularly with low latency satellite. But the interesting thing is a lot of current first, you know, regular Starlink consumer customers are already seeing that sort of performance um, on their systems. So does this mean that once Starlink Premium is out there and there's a premium tier, will regular Starlink customers get kind of pushed down the priority queue and, you know, pushed more down towards the lower levels of what to expect? We'll have to see how that goes as you know, Starlink pushes out this next generation network. So, what is Starlink premium service going to cost you? You've already paid $2,500 for this next generation, bigger, high performance dishy. And now, well, per month, $500 a month. So you're going to be getting twice the expected performance, five times the cost of Starlink's regular consumer, $99 a month pricing. So this is a big jump in price, a clearly is not targeting the same market as the existing Starlink. This is more intended for small businesses, um, places that uh, will want to be able to take advantage of faster satellite internet, perhaps offering it to their customers. And um, you know, SpaceX is still saying you know, some residential and super users might want to pay for this tier of service. But for most people, this is not the Starlink that you're going to want to look for. Now, there have also been some changes around, you know, Starlink and mobility. The first thing is SpaceX has updated the Starlink terms to allow people to have additional locations on a single account. So this doesn't mean you could have one dishy and take it to multiple locations officially. That sort of mobility is still not officially supported. But what SpaceX is allowing is a single account um, can have multiple lines of service on it. So a Starlink premium account can actually have unlimited locations, unlimited lines of service, assuming you want to have two, three, four, five different businesses or different homes or every one of your boats or RVs all with their own Starlink premium system, you can do that, but that's each one needs its full set of hardware, the $2,500 dishy and $500 a month. Regular uh, Starlink accounts, you know, regular consumer level Starlink accounts can have up to three locations, so three lines of service, so you can have a Starlink system that you keep at your home address, paying that $99 a month, and maybe another Starlink system that you take with you on a boat or in a van or on an RV that you take on the road. Now, why not just take the Starlink from home with you when you travel? Well, that brings up one of the biggest catches with Starlink right now is your service is assigned to a service location, and you have to find, be lucky enough to find an open cell that has 
capacity and um, has been turned on. And large parts of the country still have not been turned on yet, and other large parts of the country are already at capacity. So if you have Starlink at your home and you take it with you on vacation, you take it with you on an RV trip, and you can manually update your service location as you travel, there's a chance that when you come back to your home address, your home address might be at capacity, you won't be able to bring your Starlink service back. So with this new additional locations capability, if you're willing to pay for an entire second line of service, you can guarantee you're not gonna lose your Starlink service at home if you take your second Starlink line out on the road with you. Now, what about true mobility, you know, being able to take Starlink with you and have it not need to manually change cells, not need to um, go through all those hoops to get connected as you take things around. Well, SpaceX has updated their FAQs on that as well. It is still something they are working on, but they are not licensed for that. They do not have permission to do mobility in any fashion yet. Um, so it is still something that is coming in the future for RVs and whatnot. And very important, we've been saying this since the beginning, you cannot assume that regular $99 a month consumer Starlink hardware and the service plan will be enabled for mobility once they turn that on. So we clearly see now SpaceX is willing to do different tiers of Starlink service with premium and regular here, and they might have different costs and different hardware for true mobility when they turn this on at some point down the road. So early adopters, keep that in mind. Right now, there's quite a few of us who are experimenting with taking Starlink and traveling with it, but know that you know, you're, you're jumping in ahead of the curve. You're not the customers that SpaceX is looking for right now. So keep that in mind as you plan your investments in what hardware you want and whether you expect it to work long into the future. So anyway, that's the latest on uh, Starlink, Starlink Premium. Um, the service is available for pre-order now with a $500 deposit. They're saying it will begin shipping in parts of the country in Q2 2022. Um, you could put in your address and find out when Starlink Premium might be available in your area. Um, some people are already noticing that Starlink Premium seems to you know, be jumping to the head of the line and having actually faster forecasts uh, for when service will be rolled out than some people who are still waiting a year or more for their regular Starlink service. So uh, if you're really in a rush and Starlink is not covering your area yet, maybe try ordering Starlink Premium if all those other extra costs are uh, you know, potentially worth it to you. Or, well, keep in mind, Starlink is not for everyone. It is great to have multi-hundred megabit service from space, but if you're someplace where you can get fiber or cable or you know, residential 5G, you'll probably still have better options than Starlink. Starlink is meant for the places where really there aren't other options. And well, it's great to see those that service improving. It's also a little unnerving to see it getting more expensive on the high end. So that is the latest and stay tuned for more. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.